Hey guys, welcome to Mo's Kitchen. Today we're gonna make pound cake. Why is it called pound cake? Believe it or not, back in the day, a pound of flour, a pound of butter, a pound of sugar, and a pound of eggs were used, and that was it. We're not gonna do it that way though. It'd be a very sweet and just not a great cake. Nowadays we've got an access to a lot of spices, many different herbs, and all kinds of different ingredients. So let's get started. In here I've got about half a pound of room temperature butter and about four ounces of icing sugar. I wanna beat it on a lower speed or else it'll just fly all around you like it just did to me. So just beat it on a lower speed for about 20 seconds or until it's all combined. Then do it on a medium setting for about four minutes. Grind a tablespoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of allspice berries. What are allspice berries? These. You could use a coffee grinder, spice grinder, it'd be a little easier and I wouldn't blame you. Very important, stop the mixer part way through and just scrape down the sides of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl just so everything gets incorporated easily. Okay, now turn your mixer to low. And you want to add in your four eggs, that's what I have. Add in one at a time. Wait for it all to get kind of incorporated in there. So give it maybe 20 seconds. As you can see, uh, the yellow is starting to disappear already. Add in your vanilla extract as well. And a pinch of salt. It's good to have salt in desserts. Okay, now it takes about 15-20 seconds per each egg. And then when, when you can't see it anymore, add in the second egg. There we go. Now take your time on this, okay? You don't want to rush it, and you definitely don't want everything to kind of go on all at once. Good, everything's looking good now. You want to turn the mixer off. And I know it looks kind of weird down here, but don't worry. It's how it's supposed to look, trust me. Scrape everything down. Scrape down the side of the bowl. Scrape it on the bottom. Mix everything around. And don't forget the paddle. You want to do it just at least once. Just maybe halfway through. That way everything mixes together properly. Good. Now I love adding in fruit and vegetables. So we're going to make this a banana pound cake. So just continue beating and uh, another 30 seconds to do the job. Now with your mixer on low speed, you're going to add in cake flour in three installments, okay? I like to use cake flour because it's lower in proteins, which makes for a nice tender cake. Good. Now when you can't see it anymore, add in your second installment of cake flour. I'm going to explain why I use cake flour and a few other things on the blog, alright? Just take your time on this. Don't worry about time. Again, halfway through this procedure, scrape down the bowl, scrape the sides, and scrape the paddle. You can see how elastic the dough is getting right now, can't you? It's going to make for a great pound cake. Now once you've added in all of your flour, like I already have, you want to beat it on medium for about 30 seconds, and that way it'll be a nice elastic -y dough, and then you're ready to pan up. Okay, now get all of your batter in a pan, and you want to do a bit better of a job than I have. As you can see, I'm a bit messy, but that's no problem. The traditional pound cake will, in fact, make two of these, you know, a pound cake. If you notice, I use mostly half a pound of a lot of the ingredients, except for the sugar. Half pound is just way too sweet, so four ounces is more than enough. You want to bake it at 350 for about one hour or until the internal temperature is about 210. It might crack a little bit, but don't worry, it'll sink back in. I'll explain that a little later if I can as well. Okay, there you have the finished pound cake. Let it rest in the pan for about 10 minutes and then take it out of the pan. Let it rest on a cooling rack for about half an hour. And that big crack is either, don't worry, it'll sink in. I know it sounds weird, but trust me. And you know, you could always put icing or frosting on top or, you know, some nice Nutella. We could stuff it with some peanuts or some candy. There we go guys, our great pound cake is finally done. Hope you enjoy it. This makes great PB&J sandwiches, you could spread some Nutella on there, put candy and sprinkles on it, have a f just a fun time with it. You know what I love doing with this? Making French toast. Since there's banana in there, it'll have a lot more flavor than just using regular bread, so it'll be good. But this is also the cake I would use to make one of my favorite classic American desserts. It's called Baked Alaska. I'll show that in a different video guys. For now, enjoy this one. Leave a comment. Visit me at moes-kitchen.blogspot.ca and as always, enjoy!